Deserts, they're big. Like, very big, in fact. That's why it's easy for stuff to get lost in them. And sometimes for a very, very long time. Eons, even. From the Egyptian desert to the Sahara, all manner of curiosities have been found buried deep in the sand. And some of them defy description baffling even experts. These are 20 shocking things scientists found buried in the desert. Number 20, the mysterious whale graveyard discovered in a desert. Chile have unveiled dozens of fossils that they found in the country's Atacama Desert. In 2011, a team of scientists discovered nearly 40 almost intact whale skeletons in the Atacama Desert in Chile. These cetacean carcasses in one of the driest places on the planet present an interesting enigma because the place would soon have been under construction as part of a work plan to widen Pan American. Scientists only had two weeks to carry out their research before the ground was to be submerged under concrete. Using a 3D scan of the site and collected bones, researchers were able to determine that the whales stranded on this site at four distinct periods separated from each other by a few thousand years. Since all the skeletons were in the same position, facing in the same direction, with their backs facing the ground, the whales probably all died the same way, and their death was more than likely caused by the ingestion of toxic algae. Researchers believe that these animals found themselves in this place, which is very limited in space because of the configuration of the coast which ran along this part of the desert thousands of years ago. The whales would have found themselves stuck in a delta, and the currents would have then pushed them into this very specific location. The carcasses would have finally been thrown above the tide line onto sandbanks following violent storms. The region was already deserted by animals at that time, and this explains why the bones were not scattered by scavengers. Now it's time for the strange topic. When digging up deserts the world over, scientists will routinely stumble upon bones. Sometimes, if they're lucky, a whole skeleton. And while that's chilling to an extent, it's also kind of just business as usual. But the photos that you're looking at here, they come from an incident that was anything but business as usual. Because this skeleton is fundamentally unrecognizable. Literally no scientist who has studied it can figure out what this thing is or was. Given the scale of it, it's most probably a dinosaur. A currently uncatalogued one. The most remarkable thing is how the skeleton has remained in one piece all of this time. That is not an easy feat. But this unknown beast was found fully formed with barely a scratch on him. This could mean either one of two things. Either, by sheer happenstance, it was buried for millions of years and never damaged. Or, it died recently. We're really rooting that the second option isn't true, because the idea that there might be something like this still out there, that's enough to terrify anyone. So, what do you think this thing was? Mere dinosaur, or some unknown desert creature? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag StrangeTopic. Number 19. Mysterious Boats Found Buried in Egyptian Desert The Abydos boats are a fleet of ships discovered in the sands of the Abydos Desert in Egypt. Ships played an important role in ancient Egypt. The flow of the Nile from south to north made boats an essential means of transport for Egyptians. Additionally, the ancient Egyptian god Ra was believed to have traveled through the sky on a solar boat. Boats were therefore used also for religious purposes. Only a few boats from this ancient civilization have survived through time. This is why the Abydos boats are considered to be an important discovery. To date, 14 ships have been discovered under desertic sand at the site of Abydos. They are believed to have been built around 3000 BC. Since 1991, archaeologists have known about the existence of a dozen of boats. However, these boats were not excavated at the time, probably for conservation concerns. Moreover, they are not any boat. These boats are actually grave boats that were adjacent to massive burial enclosures of Pharaoh Kasekamui. In October, another wooden boat hull was reportedly discovered by an archaeologist. What if there were others? Number 18. World War II fighter plane found in the Sahara Desert after 70 years. During a mining exploration mission in the Sahara, a Polish oil worker came across the wreckage of a British fighter plane that disappeared in the middle of World War II in June 1942. The Curtis P-40 Kitty Hawk has remained in the Sahara Desert for the past 70 years. 
This Royal Air Force RAF aircraft had apparently made an emergency landing with most of its gauges being intact. All the weapons were still on board, along with a full panel of ammunition. The Egyptian army even collected them before they were recovered. The fuselage bore perforation marks from enemy machine guns. The P-40, which was also nicknamed as the Warhawk by American forces and Tomahawk or Kitty Hawk by Commonwealth nations, was one of the most widely produced American fighter planes of the Second World War. Its production ceased in November 1944. Number 17. Mysterious Mummies of China, 1993. This corpse was found on the surface, close to the surface of uh, Tomb 2. Hundreds of mummies were found in the basin of Tarim, located in Xinjiang, China. These mummies are in fact human remains whose origin has intrigued scientists for several decades. They were exhumed at the site of Xiaohe, and their dating is between 2000 BC and 200 years AD. If some of the bodies were buried 4,000 years ago, desiccation due to the desert and salty environment has kept them in an exceptional state of conservation, so much so that the facial features are still visible. One of the intriguing characteristics of these faces is, moreover, the fact that they display features suggesting European rather than Asian ancestry. These mummies are also intriguing because of the boat-shaped coffins topped with cattle hides in which they were placed. The graves were located by wooden posts. The objects present in the graves indicate a preference in this culture for woven baskets rather than terracotta objects. Number 16. Alien Claw Discovered in the Peruvian Desert In November 2018, a French researcher and explorer named Thierry Jamin released a post on Facebook affirming that he had found a piece of an alien mummy. Jamin apparently found a 33-centimeter long hand with three fingers and a weird skull while exploring the caves of Cusco in Peru. According to him, the alien was 2.723 meters tall. Although Jamin's claim has not been verified by certified scientists, it has been studied by self-proclaimed researchers professionalized in paranormal archaeology. Okay, buddy. They all agree that both the skull and the claw are made of biological matter with tissues resembling the skin. Okay, okay. Sounds scientific to me. Who knows? After all, Cusco still hides many historical secrets. It was the capital of the Inca Empire and is now famous for its incredible archaeological sites and architecture. Number 15. Dinosaurs of the Gobi Desert In July 1993, treasures have been extracted from the site of Uka Tolgod, meaning brown hills in Mongolia, in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. No less than 100 dinosaurs, some 400 extinct species of mammals, ancestors of our rodents, even small lizards were found in an area of four square kilometers. Even skeletons of the Mononychus, which was a strange dinosaur that looked like a large turkey and which some identify as the ancestor of birds, were found next to oviraptors, velociraptors, and quantities of other reptiles dating back to 80 million years ago. And yet, not all of these findings have yet been described. In addition to their profusion, it is the exceptional preservation of skeletons that makes the reputation of this high Gobi Plateau. Certain animals were even found in a standing position. A possible explanation to this is that these species probably perished together in sandstorms. Aw, this is not uncommon as even today, some animals that gather at water points find themselves trapped by sandstorms and buried to d A dramatic incident that thrills paleontologists around the world who regularly visit the Gobi Desert in the hope of finding new sites and fossils. Number 14. Mysterious 2,500-year-old skeletons found in Israel's Negev Desert Earlier this year, some archaeologists were exploring an area of the Negev Desert ahead of a planned pipeline construction. Little did they know that there what they were about to find would cancel any construction plans. Archaeologists stumble across what they first thought was Tumuli, which consists of a man-made mound of earth that covers a sepulcher. However, as they continued digging, they discovered a massive burial site. That's right, in the middle of the Negev Desert, they found nearly 50 skeletons, which are 2,500 years old. This is the first time that a burial site is found in the area. Different theories exist as to why these bodies were buried there. Researchers believe that 2,500 years ago, 
This spot was at the crossroads of different trading routes that linked Egypt to Jordan and the Arabian Peninsula. Some may have died along the way and were therefore buried there. What's for sure is that this burial site was reopened throughout the years since some of the bodies were neatly laid out while others were simply tossed on top of one another. Number 13. Buried Village of Al-Madam Imagine wandering around the desert and suddenly stumble across an entire abandoned village with furniture, colorful tiles, and old gates filled with sand and scorpions, iPhones, old computers. Just joking about the iPhones. The village in question is not too far from Dubai. It's an extension of a larger town called Al-Madam. This abandoned place consists of two rows of houses and one mosque in the middle of the desert. The whole thing was built in the 1970s, but was only occupied for a few years. One strange day, all of its inhabitants decided to leave. But why? Well, according to some of its former inhabitants, the village is haunted by an evil jinn. Of course, this evil spirit is a woman called Um Duweis. She has cat eyes and machetes for her hands. Because this paranormal explanation does not align any scientific explanation, a series of interviews were conducted to properly understand why all the inhabitants of the village suddenly decided to leave. It appears that the answer is much simpler than that. The Almadam village would apparently be a perfect example of what is called shabby housing. This type of housing consists of new homes built by the United Arab Emirate to modernize the nomadic Bedouin population due to the discovery of oil reserves in the desert. <laughs> Big surprise! These new housing areas were being built so quickly that the infrastructure was not always in place. Bet you'd also leave a place where the roof was unstable. Number 12. Hidden Iraqi Warplanes Back in 2003, the US Army was deployed in Iraq and stumbled across massive fighter jets in the middle of the desert on search for the WMDs. <laughs> These aircrafts were all buried in the sand. They belonged to the Iraqi Air Force, but did not look too modern. In fact, these planes were MiG-25, commonly known as Fox Bats. The MiG-25 was designed by the Soviets in the 1970s to intercept high-flying and high-speed bombers. Guided by air traffic controllers on the ground, it had the ability to climb the skies very quickly, approach its target, and shoot it down with missiles before returning to its base. They were created and manufactured by the USSR. During the Iraq-Iran War, a famous episode of the Cold War in the 1980s, the Soviets sided with Iraq, while the Americans sided with Iran. Iraq negotiated for two years to obtain from the Soviets the delivery of MiG-25. An accident played in their favor. In September 1976, a Soviet aviation pilot crashed his MiG-25, revealing the secrets of the airplane to Western intelligence services. In 1979, the USSR agreed to send Fox Bats to Iraq. Since then, different airplanes were built, and the progress of technology made them more competent. In 2003, the Iraqi Air Force didn't use them anymore and decided to bury them in the desert. <laughs> sure, they created a real necropolis for airplanes. Number 11. 500-year-old shipwreck loaded with gold found in Namibian desert. Bomb Jesus ship. While digging to drain an artificial lake on the Namibian coast, diamond miners made an incredible discovery. After finding a few wooden and metal items scattered in the sand, they came across a huge boat that is almost 500 years old. Many shipwrecks have already been found on this coast, but this one is probably the oldest and above all, the most extraordinary. On board of this Portuguese ship called the Bom Jesus, the miners discovered an incredible treasure, nine million pounds in gold coins and ivory elephant tusks. Other items were found such as bronze bowls, cannons, guns that are believed to be as old as the ship, compasses, swords, astrological tools, and even a time capsule. The bomb Jesus left in Lisbon for India on March 7th, 1533. It was apparently caught in a deadly storm. The ship remains an important landmark in maritime archaeology as it is the oldest one discovered off the west coast of sub-Saharan Africa. Number 10. Atacama Skeleton A little less than 20 years ago, in 2003, a tiny skeleton found in La Noria, a ghost town in the Atacama Desert in Chile, intrigued the whole world. This skeleton is named Ada and is 15 centimeters long. It can fit in a pocket. 
Moreover, it also has odd features. It has 10 pairs of ribs instead of the usual 12, as well as a long, point-shaped skull. Ada looks like an alien. The odd skeleton was discovered by a man named Oscar Munoz while he was searching for items of historical value. He surely found something interesting. However, a complete genetic analysis showed that Ata was not only human, but that the skeleton also belonged to the Chilean population. New studies have specified that Ata was a little girl with rare genetic mutations associated with dwarfism. Researchers also estimated that the bones were only a few decades old, given the fact that the skeleton is almost intact and the genetic material is well preserved. Number nine, ancient river network discovered buried under Saharan sand. If the Sahara is today a dry, sandy, and practically inhospitable place, it was once filled with wildlife and water. That's right. New evidence shows how this Saharan green ecosystem was able to be maintained. Researchers have discovered the remains of an ancient river system buried beneath the desert. Stretching more than 500 kilometers from the middle of the Sahara to the coast of Mauritania in West Africa, the river is believed to have been fed by water from the Atlas Mountains to the north and the Hogar Mountains to the east. In fact, the river system was so vast that, if it were still flowing today, it would be ranked as the 12th largest watershed on the planet. Researchers even believe that it once fed the Tamanraset River. The possibility that a river system existed in the region was first raised about 10 years ago, following the discovery of fine river sediments and a deep underwater canyon cut into the continental shelf off the coast of Mauritania. However, no direct evidence could confirm this hypothesis, thanks to radar satellite imagery. Scientists were able to see the ancient river network. Number 8. Lost Golden City of Luxor Near Luxor, a 3,400-year-old royal city built under the reign of Amenhotep III, then abandoned by his son, Akhenaten, was discovered by archaeologists in September 2020. This entire city, which has just emerged from the ground, presents remarkably preserved remains and rooms filled with objects. According to scientists, this is the second most important archaeological discovery since the tomb of Tutankhamun. Numerous quarters have been unearthed, as well as a bakery containing ovens and storage pottery. These artifacts suggest that the site once had a significant number of workers. An entire cemetery was also found alongside stone tombs. An inscription found at the site dates back to 1337 BCE. confirming that it was active during the reign of Amenhotep III's son, Akhenaten, presumed father of Tutankhamun. This lost golden city is located on the west bank of the Nile, which is already rich in vestiges of pharaonic Egypt, such as the Valley of the Kings or the Temple of Queen Hatshepsut. One of the oldest Egyptian mummies of a high-ranking nobleman, dating back to the time of the Old Kingdom, was discovered there. Number 7. 8 Million Mummified Dogs British researchers have found the remains of 8 million mummified dogs in catacombs located near a temple dedicated to Anubis, the jackal-headed god, north of the Saqqara site. The site is believed to have been built in the 4th century BC. It has a central aisle that is 170 meters long. The side corridors delimit a tomb with a width of 140 meters. It was first discovered in the 19th century, but archaeologists did not know how many mummies it housed. This is the first time that the site has been studied and explored in detail by archaeologists, and they weren't expecting to find so many mummies. Scientists from Cardiff University and their Egyptian colleagues examined the structure of this underground network built 2,500 years ago under the Saqqara Desert. They found wall niches housing the mummies of 8 million dogs, as well as those of cats and jackals. All these mummies were probably intended to honor the god Anubis. Archaeologists believe that people of the time acquired a puppy, probably some breeder in the region dedicated to this given the number of animals, and had it sacrificed and mummified. Number 6. Atari Games Buried in the Desert Imagine unearthing thousands of video games buried under a desert. Sounds like the beginning of a sci-fi novel, I know, but it actually happened. A documentary film-making team that was working on the film Atari Game Over which covered the 1980s crisis endured by the video game industry in the United States, found hundreds of video games buried underground. 
These include E.T. the Extraterrestrial, which was one of the biggest commercial failures in the history of video games, and the version of Pac-Man released on the Atari 2600, a commercial success that was criticized by critics. These video games were buried by the Atari company in 1983 in order to reduce stocks and benefit from tax relief. <laughs> nice one, guys. This video game is considered to be the worst one ever created. Back then, the burial had been reported by the New York Times in an article that was published on September 28, 1983. However, most people thought of it as an urban legend. No, I never would have guessed that that game would have a movie, another movie made, I guess. Today, we know for sure that Atari emptied 14 trucks filled with unsold video game copies and computer hardware into the Alamogordo Desert of New Mexico. The whole thing was even covered with concrete. Number five, fossil of massive crocodile found on the edge of Sahara Desert. Scientists have discovered the fossilized remains of a crocodile dating back to the Cretaceous period in the Sahara Desert of Tunisia. The fossil is incomplete, but the newly named Machimosaurus rex, I love that name, is estimated to be over 100 meters long, making it the largest species of saltwater crocodile known in history. It is thought to be a water hunter capable of trapping its prey with an overwhelming bite force. This type of crocodile was almost the size of a bus. However, the Machimosaurus rex is far from being the largest crocodile ever found. This record goes to the freshwater Sarcosuchus imperator, which can reach a size of more than 12 meters in length. The discovery of Machimosaurus rex, which is estimated to have lived around 130 million years ago, might change our understanding of history. That's right. This is the first fossil belonging to the Teleosaur group that dates from the Cretaceous era, suggesting that the mass extinction that happened 145 million years ago at the end of the Jurassic era was incomplete for many species that we previously thought to have disappeared. Number four, there's a fake Egyptian city buried in California. Archaeologists have unearthed a sphinx that was buried in the sand of the Californian coast where, don't worry, we are not talking about vestiges of Egyptian civilization here. It is in fact, it was part of the setting for the silent film of the Ten Commandments, released in 1923. Although this sphinx is made of plaster and was simply part of a movie set and it is nowhere near as old as the real one found in Egypt, it is still the witness to a colossal cinematographic work. This sphinx was part of the set of the film The Ten Commandments, directed in 1923 by Cecil B. DeMille. For the purposes of his production, the American director had one of the largest sets that were ever constructed at the time, including a 40-meter high door decorated with 21 sphinxes. He builds it on the same scale as ancient Egypt was built. This epic set was left untouched, and nobody knows why. What is sure is that there is an entire Egyptian city buried in California. Although the Sphinx's historical value is not necessarily obvious, the object bears witness to a bygone era in Hollywood, during which colossal sums were invested in the construction of film sets. The Sphinx would probably have been produced using digital effects if Cecil B. DeMille had shot his film today. Number three, horned kangaroo fossils. Australia is home to many different species and animals. Some, such as koalas, wombats, kangaroos, wallaroos, have become emblems of the country. But what if we told you that there were horned kangaroos? <laughs> yup, you might think that's a joke, but back in 2002, a whole bunch of them were found. That's right, in the middle, several skeletons of weird kangaroos were found in a dig. Their bones appeared bigger than usual kangaroos, and they had massive claws. It also seemed that they had two horns. Maybe they were a devilish subspecies of kangaroos. However, after observations, researchers agreed that it would be impossible for kangaroos to grow horns. I mean, come on, just come on. <laughs> they therefore think it might have simply been large protuberances above their eyebrows in order to protect their eyes, which made them probably look like some sort of alien kangaroo clown. Sure, scientists, no horns, but protuberances. Sounds like solid scientist stuff to me. But don't worry, they're herbivores and harmless. Number two, America's mysterious concrete arrows. At the beginning of the 20th century, the US opened a new airmail route that was linking the West Coast and the East Coast. However, air pilots, 
did not have a GPS back then and could only travel by day and in good weather conditions. As a result, a system of arrows and light signals was built and served as night markers for American airmail planes in the 1920s. They crossed America and indicated the way from New York to San Francisco. These large arrows have not completely disappeared and some can be found in the middle of the Californian desert. This system was completely abandoned in the 1940s with the arrival of radio communications. The light signals were gradually dismantled until the early 1970s and the arrows were left untouched. Many of them were destroyed during World War II, but some are still intact. Number one, mysterious sun temple lost for 4,500 years found buried in Egyptian desert. While carrying out excavations at Abu Ghraib, near the necropolis of Abu Sur, located in the southwest of Cairo in Egypt, Italian and Polish archaeologists discovered the ruins of a vast building. According to a press release from the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities and Tourism, published on July 30th, it could be one of the four solar temples erected 4,500 years ago during the 5th dynasty and unfound until now. Unfound! Imagine, this building was made of mud bricks and quartz blocks. Archaeologists also discovered pottery vessels, which could have been used to carry out rituals and ceremonies, as well as ceramic pieces and fragments of seals bearing the name of Chepsekare, one of the pharaohs of the 5th dynasty. According to historical sources, six sun temples were built between 2500 and 2350 BC to honor the god Re, but only two of them have been found. What kind of other things do you think we can one day dig up from a desert? Do you think we've already discovered everything that was buried by sand and time? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.